Hello, <clears throat> I'm going to do my Capricorn energy reading. And as always, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Empowering Questions cards. And all right, that one flipped over. We have, how do I show love to myself and to others? Okay, so that's kind of a overall energy here. And then I have my vice versa tarot, which there are images on both sides. So I'm going to use these. I feel like that one. Okay, so the magician. All right. We have the two of cups and we have the lovers. All right, we have number 11, which is let me see. That is justice. Sorry, it takes me. A, these I haven't used that often, so it just takes me a minute. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups overall energy could be either one i'm kind of feeling like this one which this is the hermit all right I feel like for some reason I'm feeling like with that one right there, it's kind of just sitting and looking at what it is that you have and just taking some time to assess things. So this is what it is you need to focus on. And especially with this being the back of the chair of the, of the justice card, I feel like it's kind of looking at what you have in your plus column. I feel that there's a relationship that you have that is around you that... You feel powerless in it, and I feel that you've lost that connection, and it's almost like they've turned their back on you for some reason, as, because we're seeing the backs of this. Um, so I'm kind of feeling that maybe someone has turned their back on you, and especially like those flames seem to be sticking out for me. something's fiery um i feel that there might be a lot of friction with with a relationship and it's making you feel powerless the empress queen of wands i feel like it's time to take your power back I'm looking at these two lions right here too. Yeah, standing up for yourself. I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself in a relationship and for you to gain your power back. And that this is a growing lesson for you, um, especially with the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands and the Magician, I feel, is very, very powerful. And the question is, how do I love myself? How do I show love to myself? Are you showing love to yourself by staying in a relationship, whether it's friend, family member, a work situation, whatever that may be? Are you showing love to yourself by keeping yourself in a situation that you feel powerless, that you feel is toxic, that you feel is that loss of that connection? Um, is that showing love to yourself by keeping yourself in that situation? Like I said here, I feel like it's time for you to really look at what you have in your plus column and what you have in burned bridges because this this tree here is burned and he's sitting with his shovel and he's like ready to bury it he's like okay it's come to the end it's ran its course 
it's been a burden, it's time for me to sit down and make things, right? Working on making things happen for yourself. And it's a new way of thinking. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> um, with the overall energy with it being the hermit, I feel like it's looking within and really exploring those and saying, okay, what can I do for myself, right? How do I show love to myself? And it's not by staying in a toxic situation or surrounding yourself. Even if this is just memories from a past relationship that you've had that, you know, it's gone wrong. And sometimes we like to punish ourselves, right? Um, sometimes we just like to keep, you know, having these things going around and around and around in our head. And it's like, okay, I need to stop punishing myself. I need to let this go. I, I, I can't change this. It is what it is. It happened what it happened. And I need to show love to myself and to stand up for myself and to learn from the situation and move on. To bury the situation and move on. Look at this. I love it. Ace of Swords. Opportunities coming in. Ace of Wands. This energy that's coming in for you, I feel like it's, it's, it's kind of facing it forward and it's taking action and it's kind of leaving behind what didn't work for you, right? It's like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get stuck in the slow lane anymore, right? That I'm ready to make things happen and I'm ready to change things. I'm ready to share. I'm ready to release. I'm ready to move on. We have the Knight of Swords and he's feeling fiery and he's feeling passionate and he's ready to go. And kind of looking over this situation as what, reassessing things and seeing what are those things that I can change. Oh, look at Nine of Again, <laughs> I love it because Nine of Cups is coming out a lot for Capricorn and I love that. And the reason why you're going through these challenges is to get yourself in this Nine of Cups energy, to get yourself just emotionally in a, an amazing place. And that's why these challenges are coming and that's why these things are being explode. Uh, 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 sorry, my brain is going quicker than my mouth. That's why these things are happening for you. That's why these things, it's to show you something, right? It's that those karmic patterns, those patterns, and it's like, how many times have you gone through this? And how many times does the universe has to keep showing you these things? And when is the time going to be when you finally step out of that and you finally make work on justice for yourself and you make those changes that need to be changed right and you bury those things that need to be buried if it's over done right it's time to move on from it not dragging it behind you so I feel I actually I feel really excited because it's like this is a challenge for you to see something it's for you to show love to yourself and to get yourself, which I can see the card behind here, which is the 10 of pentacles, which it's that it's the comfort that you have within yourself. Like that is so powerful. Like I can't say that enough is, is feeling comfortable in your own skin, knowing that you can handle anything that comes your way, knowing that you are strong enough and power enough to make those decisions that are best for you. And if people think that you're being selfish, then those are not the people that you want to be around. If people are saying, I'm so proud of you for making tough decisions and for looking out for yourself, those are the people that you want to be in, be with, right? Those are the people that you want to surround yourself with. Those are the people that you want to share things with, right? Because they're seeing how happy you are that you're in this nine of cups energy, right? And it's it's doing those things for yourself and loving yourself. I don't know how many times I say like almost every reading, it's just like show love to yourself. Because the reason why I say that is for so many years, so many decades, and I'm not kidding, I have not shown love to myself. I'm getting emotional. For so many years, I was trying to show love to everybody else except for me. And I was leaving me out. And when I started showing love to myself, and when I started making decisions that were better for me, life just really changed. And I'm not kidding. It's just, it just, is it all rainbows and unicorns? No, I've had my challenges. Definitely, like I've said this year. But those challenges were to see how strong I am and to see, to show love to myself. And 
that once I started showing love to myself and I started doing things that made me happy and I started burying those things or working through those things that no longer served me, that it just brought such a happiness to my life. And I just feel like we're so busy doing other things for other people, which is a good thing. Like, I mean, I definitely do things for other people, but it's like, don't leave yourself out. Don't leave yourself out. Um, and I feel like that's what this message is, is don't leave yourself out. Okay, so let's go to Star Dragons. <laughs> I just want to share with other people what I've gone through. And I just want people to see that, you know, um, it's, it's a way of thinking that has to be changed within yourself and how you see things and having that justice for yourself. All right, we have legacy, persistence, not giving up on yourself, not giving up on you. And I feel like that goes back to the hermit card, right? Not giving up on you, not giving up. Yeah, let me tell you, yesterday was definitely, I would say it, it, was, it was a pretty low point for me yesterday. And I almost gave up. There was a few moments. It wasn't for long. And I do have to say that the more that you work on yourself, that the smaller, the shorter those times are when you struggle. And there was a few moments, I'll be honest, yesterday that I just wanted to give up and I didn't want to do my tarot readings anymore. And I didn't want to I'm like, you know, you're having all those self doubts and it's like, oh, I should just go back to and I just wanted to give up. You know, I just wanted to say, I'll just go back to a regular job and I'll just go to work every day. And I was actually looking for jobs online and I'm like, no. And then I just kind of, I just kind of snapped out of it. I just kind of came out of it. And then I, when I got on the other side of that, I said, I thought, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? And I'm like, why would I give that up? I'm like, that's how powerful the mind is that when it shifts over to that negativity, that it can become very, very, very powerful. And it's like trying to hold yourself together to get through that. And then when you come out the other side, I was like, what was I thinking? Like, no, like, I don't want to give this up. And then I love seeing your messages. And, you know, that reassures me and, you know, says, yeah, like, I have to keep going with this. I have to make this work. And I want to make this work. It's, it's not like even a have to, like, I enjoy doing this. And I have to say that, you know, sometimes when you have that loss of confidence, you think, well, you know, my readings aren't like this person's or that person's. And then I'm like, no, I'm like, my readings are my way. And my community that I build are the people that like to hear my readings the way that I do them in my way. And then I go back to my hairdressing and how you build your clientele is that you could, which even my um, instructor said that, you know, it's not even so much about how you cut hair, it's about your personality and that you build your clientele with your personality. And because people like your personality and then they also like, you know, the way that you cut their hair so it's like two things. And so you build your clientele on that. And so that's what I'm doing here is I'm building my community with this is people that enjoy the way that I read and the way that I see things. And there's nothing wrong with it because we all have our own way of doing things and we all have our own way of approaching things. And that goes the same for you is that you are unique to you and you do things in your own way. And for those people that don't understand that and don't get that, then don't bother with those people, right? Surround yourself with the people that understand and are happy for you for the choices that you make and the way that you are. And having that persistence to see that. And sometimes you have to keep telling yourself over and over and over and over again, right? And you have to keep reminding yourself. But each time you remind yourself and you pull yourself out of it, then it becomes easier the next time. We have choice, understanding consequences, right? That in the moment that if you feel this confusion and you want to make some big decisions, which I was thinking yesterday, I was just like, don't do anything. I'm like, just, um, just, just give yourself some time. Just don't make any big decisions until you've given yourself some time. Step away from the situation and then 
make decisions afterwards. So I feel like that's too, right? Knowing that if you feel overwhelmed with a situation and you're going to make a big choice, step away from it and then come back to it with a clearer head and then make your choices and your decisions. And then you know that it's okay, I've given myself time. All right, I'm gonna grab a Animal Oracle to close it out. That one just flipped over. I love it, perfect card. Bat Spirit, a rebirth is assured. It's a rebirth within yourself, right? Just saying that, right? Having that justice for yourself and a rebirth with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands is how you see things, how you perceive things and burying with that shovel there, right? Burying things, letting things go, um, putting an end to things that don't serve you and getting yourself in this Nine of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Feeling that stability and that security, surrounding yourself with that energy, but also knowing that you have it within yourself, that you are strong and knowing that you can rely on yourself and you can trust yourself. Because if you make decisions when you're all over the place or in you're not in a good frame of mind, then then you start to question yourself because if it was a decision that didn't work out for you, you're like, well, why did I do that? And then you start to question yourself. So it's about having that faith and belief and trust in yourself, right? That you can make the right decisions. Do we always make the right decisions for ourselves? No. Is everything always perfect? No. But it's, if it's more on the yes side than the no side versus rather on the no side versus the yes side, then yes, that's a good thing and that's a change. And you learn from your experiences, right? You learn from your challenges and your experiences. All right, so I feel like let's do an empowerment card from my Witch Casket deck. Let's see, we have remember you are a gift. It's time to remind yourself of the light you bring to the world. Reflect on your good qualities. Note down some affirmations for the day, right? Remember you are a gift. And that's what I was saying, that we're all unique and we all do things our own way. And we need to surround ourselves with, the, with people that appreciate us for the way that we are. And I feel like that kind of goes two ways, is to remember to surround yourself with people that you like exactly the way that they are. And those relationships that you have, that you're not trying to change other people to fit the way that you want them to be. That you say, oh, well, that person will change, or they'll do this, or they'll do that, or... You know, I mean, obviously there's adjustments in, in relationships, but I feel like it's also, you want people to accept you exactly the way that you are in this moment. And you should be able to accept other people the way that they are in this moment and not have those feelings of, I want to change that person or I want that person to be different because then you're not really being fair to them. We have acceptance. Oh my gosh, that's so funny because that's just what I was talking about. The power of acceptance will be my will be mine. What I cannot change will 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 turn out fine. Okay? Acceptance, and that's exactly what I was saying is that acceptance of having those people around you that accept you the way that you are and that you're accepting people for the way that they are and that this is the situation the way that it is and what can I learn from the situation? right? How can I change? A rebirth is assured. Looking at taking a break and saying, if I'm not happy with the current situations, how can I change that? All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.